Ladies and gentlemen, your Vanna Red is here. Yes, which means it's time to find out how much we are playing for in trivia tonight. I don't know why I'm doing this with my voice, but I'm going to stop now. Hey everyone, hi. Welcome back to Today on Display and welcome to Display Trivia. Let's find out how much you're playing for by, by spinning the wheel. We've got $1,000 slots, $2,500 slots, and $5,000 slots, so let's see what it's going to be. to my ears. Listen, again, so happy to be giving out free money. It's literally my favorite thing to do. And here's how you can win it. Stay where you are in just a little bit. 10 questions are going to pop up on your screen. You'll have about 10 seconds to answer each one. If you get them all right, you win a piece of that $1,000 prize. In the meantime, invite a friend. Make 25 cents by doing it. Stick around. We've got more today on display coming up. Welcome back to Today on Display and welcome to Display Trivia. I go by many names like Quizzy McGuire, Quiz Khalifa, and the very basic Sarah Priebus. But today, I am your Quiz Tina Aguilera because I'm a genie and a cell phone, baby. Got a quiz with me to make that money. If you had three wishes, what would they be? One of them better be to win tonight. Now, earlier, we spun to determine the jackpot, which tonight is $1,000. And in case you're just tuning in, I'll re-explain the rules. So you're gonna have 10 seconds to pick your answer and choose wisely because once you tap, there's no going back. If you miss one, you will no longer be eligible for the cash prize, but stay in the game because you can keep playing along for fun. Okay? Yeah? You ready to do this? Here we go, question one. Which of the following is not one of the five senses? Sight, smell, mind control. Which is not one of the five senses? Sight, smell, mind control. There are five main senses that occur in the human body. Unless, of course, you have a sixth sense. And, and I do. I still have my copy of M. Night Shyamalan's The Sixth Sense, starring Bruce Willis and Haley Joel Osment on VHS. Um, I have nowhere I can possibly play it because I can't find a working VCR, but um, I own one, and one day it's, it's going to be worth a lot of money, hopefully. Oh God, please, I'm really banking on this. I mean, so far, I don't know of anyone with mind control, but, you know, that doesn't really interest me. Call me when you've got someone with mind control, right? I want to see someone mind control. I want to see someone with mime control, right? Someone who can direct a group of soundless performers. Yeah, that's cool. Question two. A style of shirt that covers the neck is named after what animal? Turtle, rhino, panda. A style of shirt that covers the neck is named after what animal? Turtle, rhino, panda. Side note. This type of shirt is really good protection from vampires. I don't know why vampires go for the neck, but nine times out of 10, that's how they get you. I don't have any personal experience here, but this is what I've seen in TVs and movies, and mostly everything you see on TV is real. Um, I still can't believe what happened with that dragon at the end of Game of Thrones. I am totally starting a GoFundMe for King's Landing. Like, what a shame, it was such a beautiful city. In the meantime, Protect your neck from vampires and the cold with a turtleneck. Sometimes all it takes is a great outfit to help you get out of your shell. Question three. This athletic brand uses three stripes as a design motif. Nike, Under Armour, Adidas. This athletic brand uses three stripes as a design motif. Nike, Under Armour, Adidas. I mean, why earn your stripes when you can just buy them from this brand? Wow, did I just come up with a new slogan for them? <laughs> they should be paying me or like sending me free sneakers. Either way, you are welcome. 
for the marketing. My favorite thing about athletic clothes is I really only wear them when I'm literally doing nothing. They want you to work out, but they make the clothes so comfy, right? It makes no sense. Did you make sense of this answer though? It's Adidas, yes. Not sure about the stripes, but you all are trivia stars. Yes, we're moving on to question four. What color discs are used in the classic version of Connect Four? Red and yellow, yellow and blue, green and yellow. What color discs are used in the classic version of Connect Four? Red and yellow, yellow and blue, green and yellow. Connect for what, though? Like, shouldn't we know why we're setting a place and time? Ugh, I hate meetings that, like, have no point. This could have been an email. Oh, you mean connect four discs in a row. Well, that can't be too hard until... Oh, what's that? You just lost this game to a six-year-old? Look, it happens to the best of us. <laughs> Best to wipe your tears um, and, you know, then put the game back in the box and, and then beat the six-year-old at Battleship. Because you still have a little bit of an edge on that game, right? Red and yellow are the classic colors you'll see in this game. Green is the color you'll see if you keep getting these questions right. Well done, display bays. What dimensions of a tree are used to determine its age? Overall height, trunk diameter, leaf length. How do you know how old a tree is? Overall height, trunk diameter, leaf length. Okay, maybe you can determine a tree's age by measuring this, but that doesn't mean you should. Like, how do you know that tree wants you to know how old they are? Maybe they've gone to great lengths to hide their age. Like, maybe they got their roots done or got like a leaf lift. Regardless, it is none of your business unless the tree offers the information freely. But we've really got to start barking up the wrong tree here. Trees are fancy though. They have a lot of rings, right? And these rings that grow outward from the base adding to the tree's overall circumference is how you can tell how long that tree has been in the game. You're still in this game, Q6. This figure is Geico's longest running spokes character, Jake Gecko Mayhem. This figure is Geico's longest running spokes character, Jake Gecko Mayhem. You know what I noticed is insurance companies, they go to great lengths to have interesting spokespeople. And I think I figured out why. It's simple, insurance is boring. Like give us a fun character and a storyline and we are hooked. I'm still not going to understand anything, my deductible or my premium, still have no idea what those mean. But hey, at least I'll get a laugh or two thinking about Flo the Progressive Girl. Oh, she is a hoot and a half, right? The Geico Gecko has been gracing our commercial breaks for about two decades now with no signs of letting up. Has he saved you 15% on car insurance? You might not need it. You're doing so well, Q7. What was the first spacecraft to land on the red planet? Curiosity, Viking 1, Mars Pathfinder Lander. What landed on the red planet first? Curiosity, Viking 1, Mars Pathfinder Lander. Which spacecraft? All we've signed over, and can Mars like find the time to sign, to send anything back to us? Red planet, more like leave him on red planet. You are too good for him, sister. Look, a relationship goes both ways and it looks like you are doing most of the heavy lifting. Literally, you are sending giant contraptions to figure out what's going on with him. I mean, like he's not worth it. He's, he probably doesn't even have intelligent life. Viking one was the first spacecraft to land on Mars, but certainly not the last. I'm telling you, let it go. Let it go. Q8, let's do this. The original formula, bismuth subsalicylate, is a medicine known for being what color? Pink, blue, or orange? Y'all know I'm not gonna pronounce that again, so just tell me, what color? Pink, blue, orange. Who decided it should be this color? Cause it is bold. If you have a bottle of this lying around, you can't not notice it. Maybe that's part of its charm, right? It's like when you're having digestive issues, 
You're gonna need me real bad. And I'm gonna be right here, baby. Put me in, coach. Okay, right now we're good, but we'll let you know if anything becomes available. I'm sorry, what's that? I just ate four pounds of brisket and cheesy potatoes. Okay, Pepto, this is your shot. Pepto-Bismol is that iconic bright pink. You can't miss it. I mean, unless you got this one wrong, then oh well. Keep playing. Q9. The only winner of an Academy Award who also shares the name with the statuette worked as what profession? Lyricist, producer, art director. They got the same name. Do you get what we're asking here? What profession did they work as? Lyricist, producer, art director. I mean, let's not beat around the bush here, right? The name of the Academy statuette is one that we all know. Oscar. So this begs the question, who is the recipient? I don't know a ton of people named Oscar, Oscar Mayer Wiener, oh, but he's only really done commercial work, no major, ma major motion pictures. Oscar the Grouch. He could be so good if only he would leave his trash can. But that's showbiz, baby. If you don't get up and do it, somebody else will. And the, the guy who did in this instance was Oscar Hammerstein of the songwriting duo behind Oklahoma and The Sound of Music, to name a few. All right, no more name dropping, because it's time for the final question. Question 10. All of the following get their coloring from carotenoids, except lobsters, black bears, flamingos. All of the following get their coloring from carotenoids, except lobsters, black bears, flamingos. And my hair coloring? I get it from L'Oreal Paris, because I'm worth it. Oh, also, if I do boxed hair coloring, that's money that I can spend later on things uh, like lobster. I don't know where their coloring comes from. I just know Mama Hungry and lobsters, uh, they're delicious. I can't speak for flamingos or black bears and that's, that's probably for the best. I like to try everything, but I will steer clear of endangered and threatened species. Yeah, that's a no-no for me. But you are what you eat and a flamingo knows this because their coloring comes from the shellfish they snack on, rich in carotenoids like the ones in the lobster. Hopefully we've got some good news bears in the winnings tonight. That's what I'm talking about, right, y'all? I love being surrounded by winners. Bravo, everyone. That was quite the game. We talked about fashion, science, entertainment, nature. Y'all are some Renaissance display bees. Bravo. You came, you slayed, you displayed your knowledge. You are getting paid. Yeah, come back tomorrow. Let's do it all again. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Have a great night. Goodbye.